Hello champions and future champions, hello chess mod family. GM Gabuzian is here with you and we're going on with our daily lessons. Before revealing you the topic, I would just make a very simple request. Please pause the video and try to figure out how to play for white in this very interesting position. Before I show you what's going on, let me open your secret and change this position. What you are seeing on the board is called Andersen's Mate. The pattern is named after Adolf Andersen, a German chess master from the 19th century. The trick is, pawns are blocking opponent's king options and are supporting our rook to make a checkmate. So, in this position, with rook h8 move, we are seeing Andersen's checkmate. Obviously, now it looks very, very simple, but Sometimes in the middle games or some other situations we are getting very nice attacking options using this mating pattern. So now let's go back to the position you were seeing previously. After you have seen what's going on and what are we looking for, one more time guys, you can pause the video and try to think about it. Here white is beginning with queen h7. In order to make required checkmate, we need to take king to this line, as well getting rid of this pawn. After it takes, if now we are going rook to h3 check, black is having queen h6, which is protecting the king. For this reason, after king takes h7, we are playing firstly f6 check. Now this king is under attack and it has to leave. Or black can be taking on d3, which is actually gonna be the same. So we are playing rook h3 check, king g8 and rook h8, Anderson's checkmate. If after f6 check, black is deciding to ignore this bishop and is just going king to g8, we are able to play bishop h7 check, just taking this king back to the required square and after king takes h7, rook h3 check and king g8, again another time Anderson's checkmate is happening. So this is what we're going to review today guys, I hope now you're excited and let's go ahead to see the next example. Here again it's white to move, you can pause the video and try to think about the solution. We're beginning with knight f6 check. Black has to take, cause otherwise after king takes g7, we're playing queen h7 check, king f8 and queen g8 checkmate. So this is forcing black to take on the first move and after knight f6 check, bishop takes f6 is happening. Pawn takes and queen b7. Now if white is trying to go just rook h3 in order to take on h7 with the queen and make a mate, it's gonna be failing since there is d4 check. Suddenly black queen is getting very strong, now we have to play something like rook g2 and rook b1 is gonna be winning for black. So, because of this reason, after queen b7, Ward decides who is trying to play strong and playing queen h7 check. Again taking king with a tempo to the required square, king h7, rook h3 check, and after king g8, another time we're making rook h8 checkmate as you have seen in the previous example, guys. Let's go ahead to see the next one. Here again, it's white to move. You can be pausing the video and trying to find the Anderson mate in this position. Now, if there is no knight on g4, white is able to play queen g7 check, knight takes and pawn takes. So later on the mate is happening. We need to get rid of this knight. If white now is trying to do it with knight e5, black technically will be able to play knight e3 check, which is leading to some complications. Now if we are taking, there is queen b5 check and our king is getting naked. So instead of this, there is way easier option for white in this position. Instead of going knight to e5, white just can be playing knight to e3. The thing is that after knight a3 check this time, white is gonna be able to play king to a1 square and knight c2 is no longer dangerous since we are just able to take knight take c2 and now this queen g7 check is just unstoppable. For this reason, white is playing with knight d3 and after bishop takes, 
we're getting the required mating setup. So queen g7 check, knight takes, pawn takes g7, and after king g8, just rook h8, another time mating opponent's king. Let's go ahead now, guys, to see the next position. Here again, it's white to move. White is missing a piece, but having good chances to attack opponent's king. You can be pausing the video, guys, and trying to think how to play here for white. We need to open up the h file, and even though h5 move is sacrificing the queen, it's still happening in the game. The idea is that after takes, we are playing h takes g6. This is a double check with the rook and the pawn. So black king has to go back, and we are just playing g7. White is mating on the next move, 3 h8 square. Black can do nothing about it. After bishop e3, we're just going king to h1, and white is absolutely winning. After h5, black cannot be ignoring the threat and try to play something like knight e4, since we're going to take on g6, and after pawn takes, rook h6, king g8 and queen g6 is just mating, guys. Let's go ahead now to see the next one. This one is my favorite example in this topic. Even though it's very simple, but the first move of white is really impressive for me. You can just pause the video, guys, and try to find it. So, white is beginning with rook h7, fantastic move. If now black is taking with the king, we're playing rook h1 check and mating 3h8 square. If after rook takes h7, black is taking with the bishop, we're playing queen h7 check. King takes and rook h1. The good news is that the knight on f4 is covering this square. So, black has to go back and after rook h8, white is checkmating another time. So, those were the examples I was trying to show you in Anderson mate topic, guys. Let's now go ahead to the next position where you will be getting your homework for this topic. As I mentioned, this is gonna be the test for Anderson's mate. You can be sharing your thoughts and ideas how to play here for white and try to win in the comments section below. Jim Gabuzian was here with you. Thank you for your subscriptions, likes and sharing this video with your friends. We appreciate it a lot. See you next time during our next daily lessons.